Welcome to The Build. I'm Lewis from Retronyms, and today I want to talk about some of these uh, envelope features and envelope related features. Uh, let's start with the envelopes. You can see we've got two envelopes on the synthesizer, one for amplitude, one for shaper. And if you tuned into the, one of the previous episodes, you can see you can kind of use the LFOs for that purpose a little bit as well. But we're going to concentrate on this section today. So first off, I've got this cool graph of exactly what the envelope looks like. So not only are you hearing the results, but you, you can also see as you turn up the sustain, you know, what's going to happen to the sound? And you, there's a little playhead that goes across here. There's, there's also a few different modes on these envelopes, depending on what the fade knob is. So right now, as you see when I hit a key, it continues right through to the release phase. It doesn't stop on sustain like uh, most ADSRs. Okay, so I'm going to turn up fade all the way, and you get the traditional sustained behavior where it'll stop at that dotted line. Watch. And that's all pretty good, but what if you want to, you know, maybe have some animation as we're holding the key down? Um, well, if you want that, you can use the fade. And what this does is when you're in the sustained portion, it actually fades out a little bit uh, while you're holding. And that's really good. It gives you a, way more control over the sound. It sounds a lot static. Uh, it sounds more alive. Let's, let's listen to what this does. So yeah, very flexible. Of course, you can do all the same things with the shaper. What's really cool too is you can see these two envelopes. You can see the shadow of the other one behind. So you can kind of compare the two without switching back and forth. Okay, so there's some other features too that uh, I want to talk about. Uh, one thing is that, uh, you know, on natural instruments, if you play a note that's really high, um, it decays faster. You know, like a, let's say a guitar, and pluck the really high string and pluck a really low string, you're going to get a variance in the uh, decay. Uh, you can kind of simulate this with this feature called rate scaling. So I'm going to Play, play a low sound and a high sound first without any rate scaling. And now we're going to turn that up on the amplitude. You can also turn it up on the brightness. So that's low. So it really decays fast. Uh, there's another thing called a level scale for the shaper. And what that does is you can turn down the brightness as you get to the higher notes. Uh, on analog synth, you might think of it as like a, a filter, you know, key follow. On here, it's level scale. Um, so here it is with it off. And let's turn it all the way on. Let's see what happens. So the low notes are still pretty um, bright. The high ones are pretty muffly, and this, of course, is a very extreme example. So I've uh, one thing I want to show off too is the asymmetric pitch bending. Uh, a lot of synthesizers you set the bend range, and that's the bend for going up and for going down. But on this one, I've set it to bend up two semitones and bend down a whole octave. So if you look at where my pitch bend is, look at that arrow, and then you can also do it like a neck slide kind of effect. So you can do stuff like this. Okay, uh, thanks for tuning into the build and be sure to subscribe for more updates on our products.